What do you think, Charlie? Are you ready to go in the bird? Are you ready? You look ready. Hello. Yeah, it's good to be back holding the camera. I know for you it might just be last episode, but for us, we've had a, a bit of a break, which has been much needed. Uh, I remember texting Missy and Bunny not too long ago, and I told them how instrumental this you know break was that we were able to spend time with family and things like this. And I loved the reply. They said, roots make things grow. Rest should be part of the plan. And I think that's what we've learned over the years of all this travel is, is incorporating rest and breaks into the plan. And that doesn't even mean if you're full-time, but anything, just something where you can kind of regroup and refresh. So the camera feels a little lighter, the bird's clean, and we're just getting ready to hit the road and finish Route 66. Hey, remind me not to look up the history of places anymore, okay? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Everything's fine. Ready to go. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. Because what you don't know won't hurt you. So all that worrying ain't no you. A tiny tear in your card. Oh, no. Charlie just laid it down. <laughs> well. Like, I'm not leaving this place without making my mark. <laughs> all aboard! All right, come on, no more antics and just focus on safety. All right, where's the cowbell, though? No, 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 no. When she go out of the eyelashes. Yeah. It's the eyelashes. Oh, come on. What she's gonna do. Oh, yeah, no, no. She's gonna do what she wanna anyway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is just, this is... It just ain't no use. Wigwam. Yeah. Next is the Ranch of Cucamonga gas station. Okay, that's where we're headed. Yeah, I guess they redid it. It's supposed to be really fun. Uh, New good. Mexico, Texas, Kansas City. Just a little bit. Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois. She's gonna give it away. You don't have to worry, baby. She's gonna give it away. It just ain't no use in worrying now. She's gonna give it away. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm the Gemini Giant, and your new stunned man. What's a stunned man? Well, I look like you, and I'm here to stand in. I can stand perfectly fine on my own. Route 66 is amazing. I just want to say. Is that fridge nice and cold? The fridge is cold. Good. Cold and huge. A tip if you have a propane fridge. Um, freeze some of your meats because if you don't travel with your propane on and you're relying on the cold things to stay cold in the fridge, you can freeze some of your like chicken and your meat and you can put it in there and it's almost like an ice box. Mm, yeah. So like a you know ice pack. Well, plus the way an absorption fridge works, it doesn't make things cooler, it removes the heat. So the more warm things you have, the longer it takes to cool. So if you can put cold things in your fridge to start, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. The more you know. <laughs> Okay, let's play our quick little, what's the last thing you bring into the RV on your trip? I have my thing and Trisha's thing is usually very random. I went into the hallway closet of the cabin to get some dog food for Charlie and I saw our defibrillator. This is a new to us thing. This is not sponsored. I bought it. I think I paid about 1100 for it. Um, they're not cheap, but uh, as you know, maybe from previous episodes, we've mentioned that Trish has a heart condition and I've heard lots of stories of how defibrillators can save lives and I just thought to myself, geez, as remote as we are and traveling so much, this is probably something that we should really have in the RV. So I went ahead and got it. I've since reached out to the company I bought it from to see if maybe we could work together on doing some content, providing more information on emergency health safety type stuff. So 
uh, that might be coming, but I just wanted to at least mention that this is a new addition to our RV checklist of things that we bring on a trip. Let's see what Trisha's most random last thing is. Come on, Charlie, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. This is the last hurrah with the bird for you, Charlie. Here. We when think, all, we're pretty sure. When all else fails. Come on, who wants a treat? <laughs> Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Go. A good boy. All right, come on. All right. Okay, what are your what things? <laughs> what are your things? You like playing this game? I do. I, it's a fun game. What's the last thing you bring out of the house? Yes. Well, last time I forgot the little stool, and you like this. I love that stool. Yeah, so that we can pull the awning down and things mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Jacket, bag. And Gary Charlie stickers. Oh, these are we give these away at meetups. Look at that. How funny is that? Okay. okay let's go. Let's go. Biggest fill up to date. Wow, we ran low. We ran low, but the fuel prices are higher. Got a truck oh. behind me, so I just want to get up to the yellow line. Truck stop etiquette. Okay, so we're on the 40 and we're headed into Williams. And we're not going to stop at Williams because we've been there a dozen times, but there's a couple things you need to know about Williams. It's about 35 minutes west of Flagstaff. It's where the Polar Express is the train. You can take the train from Williams to the Grand Canyon, which I've heard is fantastic. And you got Arizona. There's a big sign for Arizona. We've heard good things about that. And the Grand Canyon is only about, was it about an hour and a half north of Williams or an hour north of Williams? Yeah, it's pretty close. So a lot of people, they stay at the KOA in Williams. I don't know if there's another, I've heard good things about that KOA. And then you go an hour to an hour and a half north to the Grand Canyon. And we'll link right up in here to the video that we did in our first Class A experience and a Winnebago tour when we went to the Grand Canyon. But those are the two things that I gotta say about Williams. All right, now we're headed to what, Seligman? $44 a night. We're here for two nights. It says there's a Route 66 RV museum down the way. So we'll check that out. This is nice. We have our own little bench. I was on the bench. Gary likes it. He does? Yeah, he's happy. He says it's solid ground. Does that feel level to you? Sure, you gonna park in the front? Yeah. Okay. Like shoes from heaven. 
Funny to be on a trail that connects the entire United States. It is. And all these little spots are all connected because of a road. I agree. It's really neat. You're getting kind of sentimental in, well, it's, in your... Well, it's almost over. Almost. I didn't know you guys already left. Yeah, we were outside. I was just making my... To close the place down. Hey, I got the bird new key, a keychain. What'd you get? I got a little Route 66 oh, keychain for the keys. I figured that is more relevant to the bird's yes. keys. That, the Peterbilt, that is the bird's. Well, the Peterbilt's nice, but well, this is, is the bird's saying, destiny. That Peterbilt kill keychain's coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's staying with the bird. <laughs> Don't read into all my <laughs> things, okay? You're hard to read, yeah. <laughs> There he goes. There's got to be like a lot of hoopla for him to get inside of a car. <laughs> We're going to Oatman. Yeah. I guess there's some donkeys in the road, but we oh, didn't yeah. want Charlie to sit in the rig all day by himself. So. And plus he loves donkeys. <laughs> I don't think he does. And I don't think he likes car drives, but he's coming. <laughs> it's a 45 minute drive there and it's a 45 minute drive back. And I'm sure we're going to be there for a bit and we're going to grab some lunch. I don't always do a good job remembering to turn off the water, but when we're going to be gone, I do, we do try to turn it off because, you know, things can happen. All right, so hey, last right. night, what? I thought, let me do a little bit of research on Oatman. Yeah? What's the deal? What's the deal? Because now it? it's now it's known for it donkeys and this, you know, oats. Arizona oats. mountain desert town, yes. right? Yes, Well, it's got a story. <laughs> what the government says is an appropriate amount of burrows, AKA donkeys is for this town. What? I see that. Like 450, you know how many are here? How many? Guess. <laughs> Based upon that lead in, 2,000. You're so close, 1,700. <laughs> 1,700, I guess they're like taking over. Yeah. Who would've thought? Look, 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 look. So even though we're from Arizona, this is a town I have never heard of until we started Route 66. And the reason I have heard of it now is because when we first started this Route 66 series, the comments started coming in, are you gonna go to Oban? You gotta go to Oban. When you go down Route 66, be sure to stop in Oban. I'm like, what's well, Oban? So we looked it up, saw the donkeys, and here we are. So thank you. One thing I didn't consider is that the donkeys kind of like Charlie, and Charlie doesn't like the donkeys. That one just started walking after him. He's like, Vroom. <laughs> How's it going? Kel's okay, about ready to throw some apple pay down. Really? Yeah. Slap it right in the middle. I yeah. got to pet the donkey. Really? How was it? You know. Is that an expression or did you actually? <laughs> wow. That's something else. Are we good to go? Card approved. Let's do it. On the very unique experience scale, like odd, but kind of cool, it's somewhere in there. Yes. You know? So um, it's not like you have to do this, it's on your bucket list. But if you're in the area, it's totally worth it. It's I agree. super cute. I agree.
gold robes of sad laughter wrap around. Oh, Mr. Light Load is showing off. Whoa! We're, we're a heavy load guy. <laughs> oh, finally. Finally. Good job, bird. There's something that tells you that this is not right. No, no, no more. No climb number two. Two of like a million. Wow, I've never seen a bird like that. Woo! Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Back in the day, that was a normal one. Stars <laughs> over there. Like Use your brake on. There you go. Push the air brake in. Okay. Good. Go to drive. You're gonna use those mirrors to make sure you can see a yellow, a white line in the mirror. See how you can see the white line? Oh yeah. There you go. That's how you know you're centered up. Wow, she she purrs. She pulls to the right, so it, it sometimes helps if you put your elbows actually on the armrest. And then you can kind of lock your hand in a little bit by putting your hands over the steering wheel. Oh, okay. Like this. Like this, there, on the other side, and you can kind of lock in the steering wheel a little bit. Okay. You see what I mean? Of uh, this gentleman, right here with us, it's right here, sir. How are you? Good, sir. Thank you. We're yeah, good. So Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So this is the Marine Logistics Base. What is? I mean, I could piece Marine that together. Marine Logistics but... Base, Barstow, California. Okay. It's uh, it's been around. It's it's been a base since 1942. Okay. Uh, they do run not just for the Marine Corps though. The Defense Logistics Agency is a tenant command here, and they uh, they provide. Uh, supply services for all of the all of the uh, the services. Gotcha. So if you're Air Force and you happen to be in Afghanistan and order something, we happen to have it. They pack it and ship it out. Big thanks to KYD Insiders Joel and Diane for inviting us onto the Marine Corps Logistics Base in Barstow, California, the only military base that has Route 66 running straight through it. To honor this section of the road, the Marines built a six-foot-tall sculpture with the classic Service Eagle, Globe, and Anchor. But in addition, there's a Route 66 shield paying homage to the road. This section of the Mother Road has been off limits to the public since 1964, just after the I-40 was built. What a treat it is to be able to share this section of the route with you. We had a great time chatting, but it was time to make more progress towards Santa Monica. However, the RV park we planned to stay at was closed for renovations. So we ended up at a Harvest Host location but things didn't go as planned. Good morning. I had kind of an interesting night last night, and um, I don't really like interesting nights. Here you go, baby. Thank you. 
we stayed at this Harvest Host, and normally we like the golf course Harvest Host locations as a backup plan. It's not our, the golf course version is not our ideal Harvest Host. We use it exclusively as a backup, if there's really nowhere else. But normally they're good because they're kind of off the beaten path. Golf courses are usually up in suburbia. The, the, the parking lot where you would stay is usually like far away from a street. All of that doesn't apply to this location. So last night at 10.30, I was sound asleep and Charlie starts barking. Caleb gets me up and says somebody's at the door. Now, it wasn't a huge threat other than the fact that it was a homeless person that wouldn't leave. And um, Charlie did a great job. Yeah, Charlie did good. Yeah. Trish, how would you describe what Charlie sounded like. A canine. Straight out of the straight out of the movies beast. Straight out of the movies. He was fantastic. Trish says I was I was I was right there with him. Yeah, you harnessed some kind of inner voice. <laughs> Trish heard. says I I my <clears throat> my voice might still be raspy because Trish says I harnessed yeah. some sort of inner voice. But anyway. Anyway, uh, it was fine with the exception that it's not like you get a great night's sleep after you've got somebody knocking on your door. Um, and there's then there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere here. to go. And then I'm wondering to myself, is the tow vehicle set up to tow? Like if we have to fire this thing up and go, do I have to go outside? We're going to fire up the bird and we're going to make our way to Malibu. And I think when we're in California, we're not going to be doing any parking lot camping. We're just going to stick to RV parks. Hey, on a more exciting note, this is the bird's last leg of Route 66. Yeah. He said $55. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. For a rig this big? I think so. Oh my gosh. Sweet, thank you. I got a stamp and a free postcard. Stop. Yes. Oh, yay. You know, I'm actually like super impressed. They're so, so nice. They're really beautiful. And, um, you know, if we were driving, we'd totally stay here. Yeah, if, you know, we're kind of out of the way, you want to come out and just get some footage here real quick? Uh, I'm in my pajamas. I'm so excited to dig in. Look, I got two sides of banana peppers. Oh, yeah. I guess that's going to give it a little. Ooh, wow. that looks delicious. Does that look good? Is it good? It's so good. Is it really? As far as pastrami sandwiches go, right here, that's where you come. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there it is. A 
Okay, babe, we're just doing a drive-by. Really? No, Come on. you're going to talk to I'll see if I can park. Hold on, let me zoom in on the map. You're going in there? Um, oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I don't think I, I don't think I can. Oh, good, I can park right there. Check it out. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. This is a bus stop, babe. Someone's I know, and I'm a bus. bus. I'm a bus. No, someone's waiting for the bus. I am a bus. Oh, oh dude. No, no, Dad. Yeah, we're sorry we missed the Cucamonga service station. We just, there was, parking was a problem for the bus. We figured there'd be some roadside attractions that would, that would be the case. Yeah, you guys are so. working your way over. And a half a mile. Yeah, well, it's like that light up there, so. You feel like you're at home now? I do. There she is. We're on the one in the bird from Chicago. It's <laughs> remarkable, isn't it? It is. The um, the freeways were crazy. It's pretty exhausting, but the payoff on the one is just makes it all worth it. Here we go, the true test. Woo! Oh boy. Man, you got this. Hill. You got this, birdie. I know this looks slow, and it is, but the bird's doing great, and I have a feeling it's because we're at sea level and we're just getting more oxygen into the engine. I like the hat. That looks good. It's become my favorite. That's yeah, my go good, 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 good. Mark. Jeff. Good to meet you, Jack. Hey, how are you? Yeah, hi, Jeff. Trish. How are you, Caleb? Good how are you? Hi. Dog has air and water. Let's go. You ready? Yes. You want to go to the end of the trail sign? Yeah. This is it. This we is made it. it. I can't believe we made it. High five. That's so cool. There we go. It's completely secure. Route 66. And if it's not already locked, We've got dictograph security right here. So if anybody gets any ideas, it'll just send me a dictograph. Kind of the vibe. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hi. I love it. Beer back at Target. At Target. <laughs> BRB. I love that it's BRB. Nicely it. done, yes. Oh, and the Route 66 is great. missions first get a picture with the sign because we've made it to the end baby okay yes. number two frozen chocolate covered bananas for this guy starts off slow and then dies out completely All if right. you write your name across that blank side yeah sure it's a white side nice and big easy to read then i'll show you a little game known on the streets of new york city as three card monty I'll fool you, then I'll school you. We'll have some fun, then I'll show you how it's done. We don't gamble or guess, but I want you to do your best to watch your card as I mix them around. A little game of <laughs> oh, hanky poo, right. two for me. Oh, there we go. You. Okay, good, good. And good. before we begin, okay. a few tips to help you win. Okay. Tip yeah. one is don't take the middle. Yeah. That was wow. fast. I'll go All right. slow. Okay. <laughs> winner, gotcha. loser. Loser, winner. I'll go slower. You can watch closer. Yeah, sure. We'll meet in the middle. Yep, yep, winner, yep, yep. Loser. Yep. Loser, winner. Now you know it's not the middle, it's also not where it's supposed to be. Eliminate two, then take number three. Now the reason the game is so hard to beat is they all look the same on the back. So I'll make it easy for you to keep track. Yeah, so good, no good, matter good, good, good. how much we shimmy or shake, your card's easy to make. Can you see the big corner? Say yes. Yes. Here, I'll show you the other side. If I were you, I'd want to see it too. Yeah. And here's the last tip. If you don't want to lose, don't play. Wow. That One is... last time, we'll put a little nick. 
a tiny tear in your card. Yeah. Right there. Okay. I'll show you one and two. You can peek at three. And this is why you should never gamble with magicians. You see, we cheat. It's a lesson I had to learn the hard way. And if this card has your name on it, that would be good. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been good, but I'm going to do one better. Oh, okay. That would be good. <laughs> and you can keep that. It's a souvenir. One day, it'll be worthless. <laughs> Mission one, check. We got a picture with the end of the trail, baby. We started all the way in Chicago. We made our way through every single state and we are here right now. This is very cool. But you know, the journey is always better than the destination. It sure is. We've arrived, but what are we left with? We were left with memories. So that's that's what this embodies. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yes. I see the bird. Did I catch a load of what? How many steps is gonna make you feel like you've walked on the road? Yes! <laughs> yes. It's gonna lose its will. Yes! That's great. <laughs> I feel like I kind of belong here. Wow! We get to walk the streets of where Lincoln lived. This is his house. more proud of the bird than I am us <laughs> in this season. I think the she bird did, did an awesome job. I love that we got it from Missy and Bunny yes. back in like Hilton Head. Yes. Crazy, right? Yeah. And it's come all the way out to California, so it's really cool. And I love that they got to see the bus live on it, like its destiny. Well, it was on mission, right? Yes. We followed the upholstery. <laughs> we followed the upholstery. And uh, we have since come up with a very good plan for the bird that we're very excited to share, and I think you're really gonna like it, but we'll share that soon. For now, what's the second thing? Let's Frozen banana? banana. Frozen Bananas. Frozen chocolate bananas. And then I want more ocean driving. Okay. No, I'm not going to Ventura tonight. You sure? Come no. On, the best tacos. No. All right. Yeah. Oh, those okay. are delicious. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks.
Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Look at that. Oh my word. I will take these. <laughs> Today we're headed down to the Santa Monica Brewer so we can have a little grand finale, Route 66 grand finale party, pretty excited about it. We're all ready to go, really windy here in Santa Monica today. Let's fire up the old girl. All right, Charlie, get in your seat. Here we go. Who's ready to go? This guy. This guy's ready. Let's go. How's it going back here? Ready. You are? Yes. Lights off. There's a few things I need to clear from the countertops, but I'm ready. All right, let's show everybody the view out the back window. This is one of the few Class A's that get a view out the back. That is something else, isn't it? If you are traveling out west, if you are traveling out west get your kicks on a route 66 <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit i'm gonna grab me a picket and snatch it off somebody's fence yeah i'm gonna grab me a picket and snatch it off somebody's fence charlie what are you doing yeah what are you doing what are you I'm doing? going to whip for your head on Route 66. Uh, come on in. Uh, we've got food menus for you. All your food and drinks are ordered at the bar. You don't go to the food truck. We'll get you that. Welcome to you guys. Welcome to you guys. Come on in. Awesome. On a Route 66. <laughs> I'll get my kicks. My kicks. Anybody ever been on Route 66? Anybody? Oh yeah. 66. I'm getting my kicks. My kicks on the Route 66. Super big thanks to Savage Taco Truck for coming out here and Santa Monica Brewers. You guys were awesome. Such great hosts. Accommodating. Perfect space. Great for the bird. Everyone had a great time. I can't think of a better way to, to wrap up Route 66. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then for everybody who's joined us on this crazy vintage adventure, <laughs> thanks for coming along. We've got some pretty cool plans this year. As I alluded to, we've got some pretty fun plans with the bird. We're picking up the Airstream back in Michigan here soon, and we're going to be pretty much everywhere this season. So, that on Route 66 is a wrap. And for the final time, Gary will close us out, and we'll catch you next Sunday. I'm supposed to say something? Yeah, just wrap it up. Okay, that's it for this season in Route 66. We hope you enjoyed it. There is a lot to look forward to next season. And here's some clips of what happened between the last episodes. This is Gary, the Gemini Giant, wishing you smooth roads and fast Wi-Fi. Towards health, towards hope for these children. What are you giving away? These are generator straps? Yeah, they're, they're storage straps. We, we ship all of our cords with these. So like we have 30 amp cords that you'd use yeah. for your camper or your RV. And all of our cords ship with these included. And then we sell them also just as a little accessory. Yeah! That's crazy! Yeah. I won it the last day. You won the last one? You won that hat on the last live stream? I did. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll take the generator anyway, though. Now you're at a if you're wondering what we're doing at the Four Corners, we took a little off-camera family ski trip to Telluride. Yes. That's what we've been up to. So Tori and Duncan are over there doing the obligatory? Yes. 
four corner photo. Yeah. Well, and I mean, now they're gonna get some cute stuff. Yes. <laughs> they're like doing some results. Anyway. And so uh, Carson said he doesn't think that we should be advertising this. <laughs> well, uh, although I kind of agree with him, I do think it's it's just one of those things that you do when you're on a road trip. It's, it's just one of those road it's trip just, stops. It's one of those road trip stops that you go and you're like, oh, I'm standing in New Mexico. Oh, I'm standing in Utah. It's, it's that kind of thing. All right. Exactly. Um, it's five dollars per person. So pretty pretty reasonable. Times six. Kind of expensive, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make up a name for those kinds of things that you stop for that you're glad you did like a year from now. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much every time we pass a sign entering into a new state, we're like, we're like ah, we missed it. We should have stayed. There should be a name for that kind of stop. It's worth it, but it's so hard to do it in the moment. <laughs> Help, us. Help leave, us. Leave the name in the comments below. We're going to continue making progress on the road. Oh, all we had to do is stand up for good lighting. Okay. Who would have thought? If I were a world champion, I'd play that one. Oh, you got Charlie? Yeah. Oh, I got a stick. Oh, I got a stick. Oh, I'd like to review what Carson did at um, his creative writing class before he left. Oh, no. That doesn't, that's not a good tone. That's a person who screwed up something, but it's kind of funny, but it's a little what bit of What did I do? What did I do? Oh! <laughs> I